Okay, in our next video, we're going to go back to kind of one of our shorter relationships, kind of similar to what our integral uh, involving e to the u was. In this case, though, we're doing our general um, exponentials. And in our general exponentials, we're talking about something like 7 to the x or 3 to the x or something like that. It's 1 over the ln of the base times the original equation plus c, which is exactly the same thing that e was, except we don't have the ln of e here because that's just 1. So we just had e to the x plus c. Obviously, if you put a function u in there, then we're going to rewrite it in terms of u and du. It's 1 over the ln of the base times the original function plus c. Uh, a lot of books will present it as a to the u over the ln of a plus c. Yeah, that's fine. It, it doesn't matter. It's exactly the same thing. Okay? A couple of quick short examples for you. 3 to the x simply going to be um, 3 to the x over the ln of 3 plus my constant. Um, if you have something like this, we have to write it in terms of u. u equals x squared. du equals 2x dx. Multiply it by 1 half, so I rewrite it as 1 half times the integral of 3 to the u du. The x dx is part of my derivative, x dx right there. 1 half comes out front because I have to divide both sides by 2. So it becomes 1 half times uh, 3 to the u over the ln of 3 plus c. And then um, um, I put my x squared back in here. So I have 3 to the x squared over 2 ln of 3 plus c. Uh, be a little bit careful of that. They, they could write that as ln of 9 sometimes. You know, that's an exponent right there. You could do that. Um, but just be careful about that. Real short relationship. Real easy day. Um, and then we're going to start applying some of these integrals in terms of um, some of the exponentials and logarithmic integrals. We'll be applying those in our next few sections in our next few videos. So I'll clarify this tomorrow and um, good luck on the assignment.